messages from Shaltazar, viewing adversity in a new light. We are Shaltazar, the Gavish Baninu, the energy of 33, and we have come forth at this time to bring you divine wisdom. We bring you this wisdom from a place of love. We bring it forth so you have an opportunity to live in greater peace, in greater harmony, in greater tranquility. But much of your world is in turmoil at this time. Some of you may be feeling your own inner upheaval as well. We are sorry you have to experience this discomfort, this inner chaos. However, you can let it go and find inner peace, inner calm, inner serenity. And by doing so, you will be helping mitigate the turbulence that exists on planet Earth. It is time to let go of the conditioned beliefs of past generations which have continued to perpetuate fear, hatred, discontentment, worry, and doubt. There is an opportunity to create peace in your world. But let us assure you that world peace will not exist until more of you find your own inner peacefulness. We realize it is difficult to find inner harmony when your personal history has often been so turbulent, so unsettled, and so challenging. Some of you have found temporary calm in the moments of connecting with the formless world. We congratulate you for creating the space to escape the trials and tribulations of the outside world. But we are here to tell you there is more that can be done. You can translate that inner harmony to your outer humanity. Not only can you experience it in your connection to your divinity, but it is possible to feel it in your everyday life. To begin, you must first step back, step aside from your humanity, retreat to the place where all is one, the still point. Many have found that place in their meditation practices when the mind is silent. It is important to escape to the oasis of calm that can be found in letting go of your humanity. It allows you to see life from a different perspective, to see the bigger picture that is beyond your human struggles. But now is the time, if you choose, to move to the next step, to open a new chapter in bringing the peace and calm, the harmony of your divinity into your human life. We hear you cry out, but how? How can we do that? There is so much upheaval all around us and within us. How do we let go of all the traumas we have suffered in our lifetime? We know you have endured many adversities, many challenges, some more than others. There is no judgment as to what is a difficult hardship and what is a less difficult one. From your personal perspective, adversity is adversity. Pain is pain and discomfort is discomfort. And so we suggest 
it is time to look at your personal history in a different way. It is time to stop letting it define you. You are not your personal history. You are so much more. If you allow what was to continue to define who you are, then you will simply get more of what was. All life is vibratory energy. If you choose to look at your personal history with the vibration of sorrow, regret, wishing it was different, hoping it could have changed, you are bringing an energy which unfortunately will continue to bring forth challenges, difficulties, and suffering as you move forward in your life. It is time to change your perception of your personal past. Begin to look at your personal history as a divine setup for your growth and evolution in this incarnation. Allow what was to be the catalyst for you to continue to develop into a more enlightened, more awakened human being. When you continue to dwell on the troubles of your personal history, you are hindering the evolution which would allow you to become free. Yes, freedom is achieved when you look at your personal history the sum total of the experiences you have had in a different way. Are you seeing them from the light? So often you look at those experiences through a shroud of darkness because darkness is what you were experiencing at the time. But reflecting upon your past with the vibration of darkness keeps you in darkness and holds you back from freedom. We invite you to reflect for a moment on some of the most traumatic experiences you have had. Do not be afraid because we are here with you always and forever. Now begin to contemplate those distressing occurrences from a place of love, from a place of opportunity, from a place of learning, from a place of light. Is it possible part of you, the higher part of you, your spirit, your soul, came forth in this lifetime expression and created this setup so you could experience that difficulty. Not as punishment, not as retribution, not even as karma, but as an opportunity. The sooner you can see your personal history from a place of opportunity, from a place of growth, a place of learning, a place of light, the sooner you will allow yourself to evolve to higher and higher levels of consciousness. Let go of the history, accept the mystery, and appreciate the gift that you have. Being alive at this monumental time in human history. A time where you can connect to your personal power, where you can connect to your divinity, where you can share your beautiful spiritual gifts with others. It is time to let go of the albatross of your personal misery it is time to use alchemy 
to transform those past experiences into light, into gold, into treasures. Who you are today is the result of what you experienced in your life up until now. You are so much more than the events of your past. You are not those experiences. You are not what happened to you. You are so much more. But until you release the anger, the frustration, the regret that keeps you deep under the water, gasping for air and trying to get through each day, you will not be free. You have the power to cut the anchor loose. You have the power to shake off the albatross. Begin today, this very moment, to look back at your personal history, not with regret, not with remorse, not with guilt, not with shame, but instead with a smile on your face. Realize how strong and resilient those struggles, those challenges have made you. Appreciate how powerful you are as a human being because you conquered those adversities. You will encounter more difficulties and you will rise above them. They will allow you to grow and evolve in ways you cannot even imagine. Bring light to that within you which has been shrouded in darkness. Love all that you are. Love all that you have experienced, no matter how difficult and challenging it was. Love as Source loves unconditionally. It is time to let go of the past. It is time to live in the eternal now. It is time to stand in your power. All you witness in the news, in the current events, in the stories being told, are signs the world needs you. If you are angered about your past, if you are angered about your personal history, if you are angered about the darkness you have gone through, you will not have the strength to stand in your power to help transform your world. You are moving closer and closer to the tipping point and each individual can play a role by letting go of the fear, by letting go of the darkness, by letting go of divisiveness. It is time instead to move towards love for that is who you truly are. We are here with you anytime you wish to connect with us Find your own personal means of connecting to your divinity, but then use that connection to change your view of life. Find the power that is deep within you. Use whatever practices allow it to be easier for you, your meditation, your yoga, and your healing practices. And when you walk out the door in the morning to a world that often seems like it is in chaos, bring that healing energy which lives deep within you. Bring that peace, bring that inner harmony into the world. Begin to vibrate from the light in all your human activities. One sure way to do so 
is to let go of your personal past. Let go of your personal history that no longer serves you. Holding on to it keeps you small. It keeps you afraid. It keeps you powerless. We bring you this message from a place of love. The choice is always yours as you live on the planet of free choice. We know examining your traumas of the past can be a challenge. It can be difficult. So we encourage you to seek support. Find other light workers who can hold your hand and help you process your darkness. Then you will be able to let go of the suffering which has plagued you for so long. And finally, you will discover the peace and freedom you have been searching for. Our love for you is everlasting and unconditional. We are with you always and forever.